All right, let's talk some fire watch now. Boy, firefighters were very busy this weekend battling a number of small fires around the area. Uh, the first was this fire. This was uh, just a little bit east of Verdi. It was called the Le Leventina fire. It burned about three acres just east of Boomtown. You see it there, and that was fully contained just last night, a few hours after it started. Then there was this one. This is a little bit north of town. The river fire in Lassen County is now fully contained. This one burned 67 acres just east of Doyle and then Cruz battled another fire uh, just uh, south of Quail Canyon. That's south of Pyramid Lake last night. That fire, as you can see there, was about 30 acres contained. All right, for more on Firewatch right now, we're going to go over to Elizabeth Olveda, who's live in the newsroom with some tips going into fire season. Liz? Well, Landon, fire danger is high in Nevada right now. And with our dry climate and record amounts of cheatgrass just looking for a spark, experts say it's a recipe for disaster. It only takes a little bit of wind, a little bit of temperature, and with the record cheatgrass that we have this year, um, the fires will escape your control you know, very quickly. Cheatgrass carries and spreads the fire quickly and uncontrollably. Heike says if your yard is full of the grass, especially if it touches your fence or house, you need to remove it immediately. Clear out at least 30 feet between any native vegetation and your property. Now, another big fire factor this year is shooting. Heike says it likely caused a couple of those weekend fires that we saw. A reminder that it's dangerous to shoot out in the open hills. So if you do want to practice, make sure you go to an approved range where precautions are already in place, especially this season. It just seems like it's a big hazard this year. I think it's going to be worse than the last year just because of the amount of uh, fine fuels that we have. Now, another big thing is illegal burning. Heike says just don't risk it. If you set a campfire, make sure to only do so in an approved campground site that allows it. And be sure to extinguish it before leaving. Covering Firewatch live in the newsroom, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.